Hello! Welcome to Digital Corner! We are going to do a range check. A range check! A range check. This range check is specific for tenors and basses. Um, so we're going to start with the lower end of your range uh, because uh, tenors and basses tend to have a really wide array of um, possible low notes that their voice makes. Um, you might be a tenor going, wow, I had to stop singing really early. And that's okay. Everyone has their own different range. Um, I am going to go super low into um, the range. And this is based off of um, real people, uh, real high schoolers that I've had in the past. And I'm going to go about two half steps lower than I've heard um, a high schooler sing. Um, there are some people in the world that can sing lower than what we're going to do today. Um, most notably Russian octavo basses. They are, they can sing super duper low. Um, so yeah, we will start off um, with, the, with the low register. It's really important that before you do any sort of rain check, range check that you are really nicely warmed up. So I would encourage you to find um, your favorite warm up on YouTube and use that and have about 15-ish minutes of singing um, done before you do this range check. Otherwise, it's not going to be really accurate as to what your real voice can do. I've been singing for about an hour today, so my voice is ready to go. So you may be asking yourself, how do I know that I'm at the lowest part of my register? Um, so when your voice does this, uh, you know you've reached your lowest note. And that's called a vocal fry. So um, let me demonstrate quick. Um, I, I know today that I've sung this note. So if I go, uh, I'm sort of sustaining that pitch but it's, it's, it's waving a little bit. So I would say um, that's probably the lowest note in my range, which is a bummer because I was two notes lower yesterday. And if I switch the vowel to an E, um, I can probably sing a little lower. E tends to be a better vowel for um, sopranos and altos. If E is a better vowel for you, go ahead and use that. If O is a better vowel, whatever vowel is gonna be the most successful for you, use that. So I'm going to switch to E. So that's my vocal fry. That's an E flat. Um, so I wasn't able to sustain that note, that E flat, so I'm going to say the lowest note in my register today and the lowest note in my range today is an E. So as you're singing low, um, just know that when you get to that vocal fry, that is, that's, that's your ending zone. That's, you're not, you're not, you're no longer in your range. Um, another thing that I want you to pay attention to is I am going to be singing about an, uh, or about, I will be singing exactly an octave higher than you will be singing. So if I'm singing this note, I want you to be singing this note. Okay? And so I will start off singing along, but I'm going to leave it up to you to do the singing for your lower register. So with that said, Pick your favorite vowel, if it's an A, ah, if it's an E, if it's an O. Uh, pick your favorite vowel and we're going to work our way down.
this. For the Sopranos and the Altas, I normally only do two parts. For um, for the tenors and basses, I would like to gather three bits of data, three bits of information. The first is the, our low note, our low register, what we just did. Um, the second is going to be our highest note in our chest register. So um, tenors and basses tend to have a large break between their chest register and their head register or falsetto. Um, we use those terms uh, interchangeably for tenors and basses. Um, so there, there tends to be kind of a strong like here's my chest voice and here's my head voice and they, are, they sound dissimilar. Um, so what I would like to find out today is not only what is the highest note your voice can do, but what is the highest note that you can sing in that chest register? For basses, it's probably going to be a little lower than it is for tenors, but not always. Um, so the way we're going to find that is um, instead of descending, we are going to ascend. Um, same thing as before, pick your favorite vowel. Um, I do not have a tenor bass voice, so I feel a little unqualified to prescribe what vowel you should use. Um, if it were me looking for a register break, again, I would use the E vowel rather than an A, ah, um, but that's just my personal voice. Um, here's what happens when I get to a register break. <laughs> It's a little shaky, but it's still coming out. See how I really wobbled and it just didn't come out? That A flat would be the highest note of that register for me. Sopranos and altos, um, the registration just works a little differently. But if you are a tenor or a bass, that is probably what your voice is going to sound like at the very top of that range. So if you're un if you're unable to sustain that note for a certain amount of time in that comfortable register and you have to shift up to a different register to voice it, that is your break. Okay? So we're going to we're going to call this our break. So let's go a little lower. Um let's start right about here. So you will be matching my pitch exactly now. to help you find that spot. Um, if you are like most of the population that you will at some point in there have had to switch into your falsetto. So let's keep going with that. Again, pick your favorite vowel and allow your voice to um, kind of switch up into that head voice, that lighter. And we'll see how high you can sing with that. Um, this is gonna go extremely high. Most of you will not um, make it to the top of this range. Um, again, I'm playing this high because I have had a tenor student in the past that has sang this note. So if you can um, go even further, wow. By no means do I expect a lot of you to be singing this high. Um, and you know, every, like I said, everyone's voice is very different. Um, so some of you might reach the top of your range in the first couple. Some of you might go a little farther. Some of you might sing all the way to the end. Um, don't feel badly on yourself for what your range is. 
you always have to be proud of your body and just um, live within there. So, here we go. Pick your favorite vowel. once to track your progress. It's always a good idea to keep a note card or keep a special place in your music folder where you're tracking your range um, and and also you're tracking your comfort zone as well. Um, so using this to find you know it, where your register shifts is because you'll find that um, so many things can really affect uh, your range. It, you know the humidity can affect your range. Your physical health can affect your range. Some of us are still in our voice change. And voice changes happen in, in all sorts of people, not just tenors and basses. Um, yeah, so I think that's all I have for you today. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>